Welcome to Web Development Course for Absolute Beginners. If you have dreamed or struggled to become a software engineer or a programmer, then you are in the right place. The way I have struggled to become a software engineer, I don't want him to do the same thing. That is why I have created this course. So why is this course the right course for you? One, this course is being structured in defined pace. And two, which is the most important part is that I'm going to be your mentor or your guidance or your instructor. I'm going to assist you throughout this entire course to become a web developer. I don't want you to spend thousands of dollars or CDs on compute resources because recently there are a lot of resources out there, but if you are not being guided, you always get confused and get distracted, right? But the price for this course is one, to subscribe to my channel, share this video, comment, and like. If you have done all these, then let's get started. The first question that comes into your mind as a beginner is, how can I become a web developer? because I've never gone to a computer school before. I don't have bachelor degree. I don't have anything about, I don't know anything about computer. So how can I become a web developer? The question and the answer is, the only requirement to become a web developer is your determination, right? And the most important part is, at least if you are a computer literate, that is a requirement for this course because if you ask web developers or software engineers out there about 70 percent are self-taught programmers and programming is not like theory it's about what you know all right so now let's begin the journey to become a web developer a programmer but before we begin let us ask ourselves, what is programming? If you know programming, then we can skip this video and move to the next one. But if you don't and want to improve, then we can stick around. All right. One, programming is what? Instructing a computer to do some instructions. Instructions like, for example, let's take you as a teacher and you're teaching your students, right? So before you begin your class, you have your rules. So for example, here in China, when you're teaching, we have a pattern to use, right? For example, before you begin your class, you do what is called warm up, right? You do your review of previous content. You see that's the instructions that we are, that we always do before you begin your class, right? And again, running tasks sequentially, meaning in an order, for example, if you want to eat, right, first of all, you have to order the food. After order the food, you wait for the order to come. After it comes, you wash your hands or you wash your spoons before you eat. We cannot just say, oh, I want to eat something, therefore, I, I want to get the food at a, at a spot. No, it's a sequential manner. And the last one is called repetition of task, right, meaning that we can tell the programmer, your computer, to repeat certain tasks. For example, if you're playing a music, you can loop through or you can put it as repeat and the music can play as many times until you are even tired. So a way of talking to a computer to perform all these is what is called programming. And to be able to talk to a computer, computer is not a human being, right? So we have to understand its language. So for example, here in China, most of the people here don't understand English. Few of them in the big cities, that's okay. So before we can even talk to a native person here, unless you understand their language. The same thing applies to computer. You need to understand the computer language. That's what we call programming. So we are going to learn the language of what? A computer to be able to what perform all these tasks all right so let's go to the next slide now that you know what is programming then let's talk about 
what is web development web development is a building and maintenance of websites is a work that happens behind the scenes to make a website look great work fast and perform well with seamless user experience so web development is all about creating websites and maintaining it so assume that look at this picture maybe after they finish creating this website there was no something like this banner here right but as time goes on they are trying to maintain the application that's what's called web development and that is what you are going to do you know you can create more apps to suit your business needs or how you want it to, to do okay so next one is what is really important to know when it comes to web development we ask ourselves well web development is broad so which path am i going to take right so when you say web development is broad like i said you need to know which path you are going to take and in programming sorry in web development we have these three paths one front-end developer back-end developer and full stack developer so as you can see this picture here even tells you that something that we did with user interface what the user sees the user can click on the designing the colors everything that is done by the front end developer and it take care of the design the layout and the interactivity of your application and this uses a language like javascript html and css right and the back end developer what goes behind the scenes maintaining a server database and uses a language like php ruby python and node.js but node.js is javascript point time but node.js is used to build back-end application but don't worry about this one we we'll go back we will take them step by step all right so the back-end developer is what goes behind the scene so for example let's take your home for example you know before you were born there is a beautiful house maybe there's a computer in your room your house is being well decorated but you don't know the work that put in place to get that your house being built so behind the scene your father did much work before you got that house right to so that house before you before you get that house that's done by what the back-end developer that's a logic behind your application the idea behind your, your application is called back-end developer and if you know front-end developer and back-end developer you call yourself as what a full stack developer so if you're a beginner you need to take them step by step first to become a front-end developer and then back-end and if you want you want to become a full stack it's up to you so let's take this application i just built which is called expenses tracker application right and let me demonstrate to you what is a back-end developer and a front-end developer as well in a full stack I'm a full stack developer though, right? So the front end developer take care of the UI, what the user sees. As you can see here, we have a button called new expense with yellow color and this new income with what? With also blue color. And when I, before I can create any expense, unless I look, when I click on that, you see something? That's what's called user experience or interactivity. When I click on something, something happens. So when I log in, before I can create, unless I log in, see? Before I log in, something went behind the scene. That allow me, allows me to log in to this application. And that logic is what is called the back-end developer. So the back-end developer will implement the logic, right? For example, before I can create expenses, now let me create an expenses, right? I'll click on new expense. I will enter something. Let me call this one fees for my kid let me say fees whatever for my kid and then the amount let me call it 200 gonna see this or dollars when i see loading and there we go we have fees for my case when i go to my profile i can see that i have my total expenses in here so the logic that goes behind for example if i log out and i want to log in with an account that doesn't exist click on that and let's see i see that i have what invalid login credential it means that the logic is done by the back-end guy so that is all what 
back-end developer means and a full-stack developer means okay so now let's move ahead to one of the important concepts when it comes to programming so you need to understand what is an internet how internet works right how internet works so let's do this in the next video